President Trump's campaign for re-election is officially underway after his kickoff rally in Florida. He treated the crowd to some of his greatest hits from the 2016 campaign, which included bashing Hillary Clinton, invoking fear over immigration, and accusing Democrats of destroying the country. He also made more than 15 false claims during his 76-minute speech. So we have CNN reporter Daniel Dale here with us to separate the fact from the fiction. And let's start now with the president's claim about the environment. Let's listen. Our air and water are the cleanest they've ever been by far. All right, not true, Daniel. Tell us about this. It's not true. So we're in the middle of a long-term improvement in American air quality. Many scientists attribute it to the Clean Air Act in 1970. But in the past couple years, it seems to have gotten worse, at least for the short term. We don't know if this is a long-term trend, but it has gotten worse. The American Lung Association does an annual report, and they found that the 2015 to 2017 period was actually worse than the 2014 to 2016 period. This almost never happens. The number of hazardous air quality days in cities increased. It usually decreases. This has happened for two years. Uh, the number of people living in cities with hazardous levels of ozone or short-term particle pollution increased by 7.2 million. It went up. And so scientists caution, we don't know if this is a lasting trend, but it's happening. So this is not the best we've ever been. Yeah, not the time to make that claim for sure. Okay, so then there's the subject of the investigation into Russian interference in the election, and the president said this. We did, in the middle of the great and illegal witch hunt, things that nobody have been able to accomplish, not even close. And they spent 40 million dollars on this witch hunt, 40 million dollars. All right, what's the real story? So Trump's been using this $40 million figure. Rudy Giuliani has used this figure. We don't know where they're getting it. Robert Mueller has filed expense reports. You can see them online. He's reported that his office spent $12 million from the time of his appointment in 2017 through September 2018. There were also $13 million in associate ex expenses from the Department of Justice. That adds up to $25 million. So that only takes us to September 2018. His office was open for eight more months after that. So it's possible, even likely, that the expenses will end up somewhere in the the 30 plus million range where he got 40 we're not sure we don't know if he's wrong but we don't know where he got it that's interesting all right so the, and then there's the promise right to build the wall along the border with mexico the president claims that democrats were for it before they were against it let's listen and you know we couldn't get the wall approved by the democrats even though they voted for it four years ago and six years ago and didn't get built but they voted for it all of a sudden trump is president we don't want a wall all right Break that down. Well, that, that's not exactly what happened. Many Democrats, not all, such as not Nancy Pelosi, many of them voted in 2006 under George W. Bush for something called the Secure Fence Act. As the name suggests, it was for fencing, 700 miles of fencing. Trump then came along proposing a giant, you know, 30 or 50 or 70 foot giant concrete barrier. And so whether you think Democrats are hypocrites or not, I think depends on whether you see an equivalence between the Secure Fence Act and the giant monstrosity of a wall. Many Democrats would say they're very different. There was one other time Democrats voted for fencing, and that was during the 2013 a Comprehensive Immigration Reform debate. And in that case, they voted for fencing because it was part of a package that included a path to citizenship for illegal immigrants. And so they were trading it off, not expressing their support for it in and of itself. 